I'm not saying I'm a savant at perfume gift giving, but basically I spend way too much time thinking and thinking some more about how to share my love of fragrances with the people in my life to get them exactly what they're looking for, need, want, desiring. And I've put together all kinds of neat little tricks and tips for putting together a fragrance gift. And I want to share those with you today, just in case you're planning on giving the gift of scent to someone in your life. I can help you out. I've got options here. I'm about to put you on game. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and let's get into it. Jumping all the way in too deep I hope you're not missing these signs Hi, I'm Janique, and tis the season to share. Your love of fragrances, obviously. And there isn't just one way to do that. From stocking stuffers, to gift sets, to gifting subscriptions, there are so many ways to put the people in your life on to fragrances, to get them excited, interested, to share your particular passion. Or for you to find an option for someone in your life that you know loves fragrances. I have so many options here. So this is the game plan for this video. Video. I'm going to start off with stocking stuffers, move on to some more affordable, cheaper options, get into some of my favorite gift sets, talk about subscriptions, and finish off with a handful of easy reach, easily complimented fragrances that would be easy to gift if you were looking for something for someone who you weren't sure what to get. I'm going to help you out in this video. Now, if you like that kind of thing, you love a fragrance video, you are excited to be here with me right now, don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it and if you already subscribed thank you so 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 much I really appreciate it you're a real one Can you give me just a little bit more of what I've been now let's start off with the little bitty ones, shocking stuffers. These are usually some cuter, smaller options that we can use to sort of build out a kind of package that says, I see you, I know you, I love you, now here you go. And my favorite, favorite kind of stocking stuffer has to be a mini fragrance and not just any mini fragrance, the mini fragrances that look exactly like the big bottle, boom, wait boom and boom now both of these are minis of the bottles the bigger bottles that they come in this is lancome's adult aura you see the frosted back the juice little bitty pink the adult the iconic adult bottle i love the look of these so 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 much but sometimes the dabbers aren't giving because they will spill so what is even better than a mini bottle that is a dabber is one that is a sprayer. Now this is from Kayali. Kayali's minis are sprayers. So look at that. Mm. There you go. So I love the fact that the minis from Kayali are um, sprayers as well. It means that they won't spill in any kind of bag you put them in. They're easy to carry around and travel around. They're just not going to take up sort of dresser space looking cute, that they can be more functional than that. And then the person can always keep those mini bottles, you know, going forward if they want to hold on to them. Such a fantastic option. There's always the option as well if you can't find sprayers that look like the bigger bottle to just go with your really traditional travel size fragrance now here's an option that looks really great this is from valentino this is a valentino voce viva bottle and you can see how it's ridged and glass look at that just really really pretty in what it is giving and i love just adding these to stocking stuffers so that i can share specific fragrances that i really enjoy or i think they'll enjoy in a smaller form they can bring around with them and that is super practical so I also love perfume oils as an option. A lot of times the perfume oils come in much smaller packaging, so they're easy and great for stocking stuffers. This is a bigger oil option. This is Jamila from Cis Arabian. It costs about 20 something dollars, so really inexpensive, but smells great. And so the person doesn't want to have a fragrance sprayed all over them, they may enjoy a scented oil that they can add to their beauty routine. And a lot of these come in 25 ml or less containers, which is really lovely as well you could get them something like a booster really inexpensive way to add some a little bit of juice to their collection if they've complained for example of their fragrances not lasting this is a way to add a little bit a little extra to help those fragrances keep going and going now finally in the stocking stuffer category are the gift cards for specific fragrance brands that you or they may enjoy the one i want to flag today is from libertine fragrances a small indie brand a lot of these indie brands do have 
have uh, do have gift cards available so you can order one and have a physical gift card comb that you can put in your stocking stuffer for your loved one now let's get into some affordable options. Now a lot of these are ways to get full bottles at a fraction of the cost as well as ways of sharing the experience of testing and trying fragrances that can make the process so 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 fun. Now my favorite way to do that is with a discovery set. Now this one is from Shoppers. There are also discovery sets from places like Sephora. How do these work? Now in each discovery set are a handful of samples. In this one there are 12 samples of 12 different fragrances. If you can see on here we have everything from black opium we have fame here we have something from narcissa rodriguez we have uh burberry goddess that came out this summer and all of these samples are in here now as part of this discovery set that you pay for you also get a coupon that you can redeem for a full-size bottle of any of these fragrances now in the case of this discovery set it is 115 dollars for the experience of going through all 12 of these plus the the gift card right plus the coupon now the way that this works and the way that you save money with this one is that there are usually fragrances in these discovery sets that are new releases like the Burberry Goddess and like the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush the, both of which came out in 2023 now those fragrances generally cost over $150 and these discovery sets usually cost significantly less there are bad choices you can make in here there are going to be fragrances that are less than $115 like the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy that's in here is about $105 so that is not a good buy here you are going to be basically giving away money $10 to get a cheaper fragrance than this discovery set cost but for the most part the fragrances are more expensive than the base price of this discovery set so things like Lancome Middle that goes for about $130 all the way up to that Burberry Goddess at $158 costs more than the discovery set had you bought the fragrance directly now on top of all of that you get the experience of testing all of these wonderful fragrances or terrible ones but it's always a fun experience to go through to make notes to figure out what you like it's just a fun way of picking through fragrances experiencing them and then ending up with something you know you're going to love now another great option is to pick up a discovery set from a brand you think the person you're gifting the fragrances to is going to enjoy based on their history and their preferences. I've seen discovery sets from brands like Penhaligons before, MFK. There's so many brands that have discovery sets on the market that allow someone to test a bunch of fragrances from that brand to figure out which particular fragrance they like. Now these don't come with coupons, there's no full bottle waiting at the end, but they're still a fun experience and usually very inexpensive. So this one here is from Ellis Brooklyn. It has nine fragrances, maybe 10. And this is sold for 35 USD or 49 CAD. And so you can have this be part of a gift or be the gift. And you can try a bunch of Ellis Brooklyn fragrances and figure out which one is your vibe or not. And there are so many others on the market. Now, if you're looking for a more affordable option, something like this one from Le Monde Gourmand, usually sold at places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls Ross in their fragrance section for like 10 20 dollars really inexpensive and on top of like having all of these fragrances you have much bigger sizes now these are 10 mil travel sizes and you are getting five of them for about 10 12 dollars you cannot beat that kind of deal and if you know the person you're gifting to loves a gourmand fragrance there's a fantastic way to go to sort of introduce them to different types of gourmands without breaking the bank. Now, last up in this section is that you can put together a sort of sample pack of fragrances instead of, say, buying one from one brand and you're not sure if the person you're gifting it to even likes that brand. You can put together your own discovery set from different brands that you want the person in your life to test out. Now, there are a few shops out there that allow you to buy samples of different fragrances to put together your own little gift bag, right? A gift bag of fragrances. It's lovely. 
really it's wonderful now two of my favorite on the market right now is etiquette which is out of canada it's in montreal here's the bag and in those bags you'll find one to two mil samples of different niche fragrances now on the website they have the option of picking something that they have curated like best of amber best of gourmand best of fruity best of villain era whatever categories they currently have one of the popular ones is the best of the best sellers like that kind of thing where you can just pick a sample bag and go with that one or you can design it yourself and pick those samples you think the person in your life is going to enjoy and love the most there are also places like scent split and lucky scent where you can pick up uh, these samples in bigger sizes I love gift sets. I love giving them. I love receiving them. I think there's such a, a fun and interactive way of sharing the gift of fragrances. But there are a few different kinds of gift sets on the market and I want to share some of my favorite kinds if you're considering getting a gift set for your loved one. One of the first kinds that I want to share with you are those gift sets that have smaller fragrances from the same line that allow you to test out and try multiple fragrances in a higher amount without fully committing to a full bottle so boom here we go so this is c from armani and this is a very popular vanilla leaning fragrance and if you're interested in c but you didn't want to commit to a full bottle there are other fragrances in the c line c passion c passion eclat that you can get as part of one good gift set that's 45 mils of juice but you get to try three different fragrances in the exact same line there are multiple versions of this whether it's with travel size fragrances or something like this that is a little bit bigger that allows you to try multiple fragrances but it's such a nice way of giving the gift of a type of fragrance without fully committing to one bottle my favorite kind of gift sets are those that have bonus items where you pay for the cost of the fragrance itself but it also comes with a travel size fragrance an oil a lotion a whatever and it allows you to have a full-size bottle of perfume and some smaller items at either free or at a discount i love them i love receiving those they're usually so grand the box is really so pretty i opened one up for my birthday from Guerlain. i will inject like a little bit of a clip from that unboxing that i did on video there you have it right it's pretty right such a fun experience for me and i think giving that to somebody else can be such a pleasant thing as well there's so many great ones on the market good girl has some really you know carolina herrera good girl line has some really fantastic options they usually have some other different inclusions like oils available that are really really nice there are celebrity brands like ariana grande that give you these really interesting boxes sometimes looking like cds or cassettes and in them you get so much for the 80 something dollars you are paying for the fragrance is a lovely way to give a gift and give an experience of opening up something kind of grand you can also give the gift of bundles what are bundles bundles are when fragrances come in their full size but there are multiples of them sometimes packaged separately sometimes pulled together but it allows you to have multiple full-size fragrances for a fraction of the cost now we don't find a ton of bundles on the market as far as niche or designer fragrances go but there are brands specifically dupe brands that do have bundles going that you can pick up off the top of my head i can think of all fragrances that have a bunch of bundles Oksha, Dossier, all of which have bundles and Sniff which I've been very intrigued by but have not picked up also have bundles where you can mix and match different fragrances and you bundle them pay a fraction of the cost because you're buying three all at once and it's a way of picking multiple different types of fragrances to help someone build out their perfume wardrobe for a fraction of the cost <music> Have you got into these subscription services, these perfume subscriptions? I think if you collect fragrances like me, it's hard to avoid. You've probably ventured into that territory before, but have you considered gifting a subscription as an option? I think it's a great way if the person you're gifting to is open and wanting to try multiple different types of fragrances and they don't mind not having big bottles. Now, here's the thing. My sister would not be on board with this. She wants a full-size bottle. She hates like low mini subscription things. She wants 
want big or nothing at all. So this wouldn't be for her, but I do have people in my life who would love sort of a one month experience of different fragrances for 12 months. Or if you don't want to commit to a full year, you can give a three month subscription, a six month subscription. You get to decide what makes the most sense for you and your wallet, your pocket. But Scentbird is one of those options that allows you to get into all of these different kinds of brands, whether it's celebrity, niche, or designer. There are multiple different options. So whoever you're gifting it to has the option to pick from everything that they've heard from, heard of, which is really nice if that is something they're interested in exploring. Now you can think about Scentbox as a completely different way to go. Now there are far more niche sins really exclusive shit that's available through Scentbox. Brands like Bond Number no. 9 and Parfums de Marly and Jojov all are available through Scentbox but at a premium. It does cost a little bit extra than Scentbird in order to get into the Scentbox service and to get one of those premium options but it is an option if you know the person you're gifting to is heavy, heavy, heavy into niche fragrances but isn't quite ready to spend on full bottles and really invest in full bottles quite yet. This is a way to get them into that to do that also you can give it to yourself you can give the gift of scent box to yourself if you really want to explore some more niche fragrances and scent bird just is not cutting it scent box is a way to go with that now the other option if the person in your life loves specific brands or really just wants to explore one brand a lot of brands right now do have subscription services i think about letta for example they have a subscription service but more importantly I think it's called the Skylar Club, I think. It's from Skylar Fragrances and through their uh, their subscription service, you can get access to new tested fragrances. Fragrances, they're just, they haven't released onto the market yet. They're just looking to explore. And as a Skylar Club member, you get access to all of that. You get to test all of that, try all of that, explore alongside all the other people who love Skylar Fragrances. Now, Skylar is a clean brand and so much of their aesthetic is about using sustainable ingredients in their fragrances so if the person you're gifting this fragrance subscription to is somebody who values those things as well this might be a fantastic option for them if that is their thing <music> So I didn't want to just come here and give you different buying options, different retailers you can test out. I also wanted to share a handful of fragrances that I think are crowd pleasers, that are safe bets as far as gifting goes. If you're really determined to give a full size bottle of something because you're just that kind of bitch and I love you for it, then here are some fragrances that you can gift. And generally speaking, I don't have a lot of pushback on these fragrances. People don't tell me they have any issue or dislike these fragrances. They generally are ones that people tend to enjoy, love, like even. So if you're looking to gift a full bottle, here are some fantastic options. So I won't spend a ton of time on these recommendations. I'm going to start off with Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle. Now this is a fantastic option gifts wise just because of how beautiful that bottle is. Look at it. Look at it. It is so pretty and such a fantastic way of sharing the gift of fragrance in something that is really artistic and beautiful. But the juice as well smells great and a lot of people love this fragrance. It is a crowd pleaser. It is really a mix of pear, very sweet, a little bit watery pear with vanilla and some really darkening notes like leather and vetiver that help to complicate things. But they're really restrained in this fragrance, not doing that much work. It's mostly a fruity, floral, vanilla fragrance that smells incredibly pretty and incredibly complimentary. Now, last year I gave my mom this fragrance and this is Guerlain's Mon Guerlain, the original. Now, I love this fragrance. It is white florals, it's vanilla, it is sweet, it is airy, it is pretty, it just is beautiful. One of the things that my mom reported back when she tried this fragrance was how many compliments she got and that's exactly what would happen to whoever you give to this to. It is a compliment magnet because, you know, it just is. Now we gotta talk about Lancome's La Nuit Tresor. Now this is a strawberry, cherry, white floral fragrance with some vanilla in the, va the base. Just really sweet, a little bit sticky, a little bit heavy. Such a beautiful fragrance that I think of as like a date night fragrance. I love this one because it is not just rich and pretty and really 
sweet, but it's also not boring. It is doing a lot. It is doing a lot and being just perfect for those beautiful nights out when you want to feel special. That is the vibe this fragrance is giving. I feel special, y'all. Now, if the person you're gifting the fragrance to likes a more citrusy type of fragrance, looking for something a little bit fresher and greener, we all have that kind of person in our life, I know I do, then Burberry Her EDT is a good, also slightly inexpensive option to go with. This tends to be less expensive than some of the heavier versions of this fragrance, and uh, I love that. So this one, I think I picked it up for 70 something dollars really lovely green strawberry fragrance with all kinds of citrus and airiness and tartness in the fragrance that is great for summer so the person you are gifting a fragrance to likes a fresher lighter fragrance and they hate those heavier white florals then this might be the way to go for them i just shared all of my gift ideas with y'all and i have nothing left i hope this was helpful i hope me being a giver was useful to all of you now if you love this kind of christmasy content i did unbox an advent calendar from the bay and you should check it out because it was a fun one and it shares a bunch of different items that are not just perfume related but there is skincare and makeup in that unboxing and maybe there's an idea there for you as well now thanks for stopping by don't forget to like subscribe do the things again i'm janique i'm your fairy godmother when it comes to gift giving and i hope hope that you love me enough to comment down below and come back for the next one i'll see you soon bye y'all